so here as you can see this is the input power for the power to the motherboard here we have the cable here as you can see this is the ic this is the charge ic as you can see here we have the coils inductors as you can see we have pe this is inductors the 19 volt should pass through these inductors and then should pass through this mosfet and then this mosfet and then goes to this resistor this is current sense resistor and then from here the 20 volt will be distributed to the whole motherboard as you can see here we have one circuit as you can see here we have another circuit as you can see here this is another circuit we have here another circuit here also we have another circuit as you can see so here also we have another circuit here as you can see we have a power management ic as you can see we have mosfets so always when you find a group of capacitors with inductor means a circuit okay so here as you can see we have capacitor we have inductor we have mosfets and this is ice okay here also we have a group of capacitors here we have inductors here we have ic so this circuit is for the processor always the circuit of the processor contain many capacitors okay so this is the circuit for the processor and this is the cpu management ic okay here also we have another circuit okay and here also we have another circuit as you can see okay we have inductor capacitor inductor capacitor and here we have the ic so this seems to be the 3 volt 5 volt system power because we have two inductors one inductor for 5 volt and another for 3 volt okay so before going and diagnosing the motherboard let's first check something so as you can see always when you get a failed motherboard okay a dead motherboard or a motherboard with no data or no power or no light first thing to do is a visual inspection okay so always you should make a visual inspection but first let's remove this the fan okay let's remove first this the fan and the heatsink you know in order to be free in the motherboard so to remove this we can just remove these screws as you can see the screws for the fan as you can see so we will remove this fan in order to be free in the motherboard in order to see all components okay so here we have the fan now is removed as you can see so what about the heat sink? as you can see also this is this is bad for motherboards this can cause a graphical failure okay so this should be cleaned in order to avoid to damage the graphic cards okay this is bad for the motherboard now anyway for the heat sink no problem now we see all the components but let me first remove this dirt here so now as you can see i have clean this heatsink as you can see now is clean you can even remove the heatsink okay and wash it using water no problem you can even remove it and wash it using using water but to remove the heatsink you should pay attention to the screw number as you can see here we have here one two three four we have here five and six you should not open any screw randomly no you should always respect this order first you should remove this screw we have here one then two then three then four then five then six in every 
motherboard you will find the same working principle you can find just four screws or even six or more why because for example if you you loosen the number three then number six then you can damage the heatsink or even you can damage the processor or the GMC hedge okay so always try and respect the order of screws okay so now as you can see here this is the heatsink as you can see okay. under this heatsink as you can see here we have under this the processor and under this part as you can see this is the GMC hedge and this is the IC hedge okay so the processor the GMCH or the North Bridge and here as you can see we have the ICH let's unscrew these screws in order to check these chips okay so let's begin with the first screw here we have one so let's check here we have one so we have here two Here we have three. Okay, number three, four, so this is five, and six okay now we can remove the headsink easily as you can see we can remove the headsink easily okay as you can see this is the headsink okay so as you can see here this is the processor as you can see this is the processor okay here we have the GMC hatch okay so this is the GMC hatch as you can see okay and here this is the salt bridge okay this is the salt bridge okay so the processor the GMC hatch and the salt bridge okay so here as you can see this is the RAM slots okay here we have the RAM slots so the kind of this RAM is the DDR3. Why DDR3? We have here DDR3, as you can see, 1.5 volt. This is 1.5 volt. So 1.5 volt is the working voltage for DDR3. So for DDR3, the working voltage is 1.5 volt. And the VTT or the terminal voltage is 0 0.75 volt. Okay, so this is the DDR3. So this is the processor, the GMCH to ICH. This is the RAM memory, as you can see. Here we have many circuits. Okay, so this is chemical capacitors. This is inductors. All those are inductors. Here we have MOSFETs. You can find MOSFETs in the shape with eight pins, also in the shape. This is a small MOSFET, and also those are MOSFETs. Here, this is the IC power management IC. Here we have also another power management IC here, inductors. This is capacitors, as you can see. This is the network card. This is for the Wi-Fi. Okay. So as you can see here, here as you can see this here we have the main power okay this is the cable that is connected to the power jack as you can see and here this is the charge ic that we 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 going to check okay as you can see here in the other side as you can see so in the other side we have the CMOS battery as you can see this is the CMOS battery as you can see here the other side of the processor okay this is a chemical capacitor 
as you can see here this is the super io this is the super input output okay io okay Usually near to the super I/O, we have this IC. This is the BIOS, the basic input output system. And of course, here we have this connectors. Also, you should check all these connectors. This is the power buttons. This is buttons. Okay. 